<laughs> you almost walked away without getting that jiggy. <laughs> I was I was doing a quick circle because I was distracted by this texture. It's just upsetting to look at. <laughs> like the bricks. Like Dude, the mosaic looking. Yeah. Yeah. Because her brother's <laughs> You know what would be funny? Uh going back to uh Bad joke, Zooey, like um, having a game over screen every time you save. Mm -hmm. uh, if there was a true ending for. <laughs> if there was a true ending for doing it in one sitting. Oh. Where you, like, never saw that. You never gave the regret to Tootie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. I actually, I have not beaten this game in one sitting before. Me either. So. I mm. beat Final Fantasy VII in one sitting. Holy shit. That's um, multiple discs. Me and, well, we, we did the, like, the PS3 sort of virtual console oh, version. Oh, sure. Me and a buddy were like, I've never played, I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Well, we'll just sit down and do it. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, we didn't an anticipate doing it in one sitting, but, like, we did stay up for 72 hours and beat Final Fantasy VII. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's some impressive work, I'd I say. Was, I was a younger, uh... Back in your More energetic prime. version of myself. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, like, 9 o'clock rolls around, and I'm like, oof. Oof. Bed. I, um... I am powered exclusively by caffeine at this point, so... I don't drink coffee. See, that's... I that's... have to get all of my caffeine from Coca-Cola. Mmm, I do recall this was a running joke when we first met, was this Coca-Cola bit. Yes. <laughs> all right. The shark's name is Snacker. Oh! The crab's name is Nipper. Hey! Oh. Oh, that cuts deep. <laughs> That's a victory if I ever heard one. There you go. The history books will show me the victory. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. That's uh, the consolation prize for you being better at the game. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, the um, the, I've said this once before, and I'm going to turn it into my new thing, because every time I get to reference the editor, I'm just talking about me. Um, history books are written by the editor. <laughs> yeah, well, fair. <laughs> I think this is where you learn the boots. Yep. Nice. Get boots. Figured I'd get this out of the way early because they're yeah. so, so important. Especially, I think, borderline exclusively in this level, but not just exclusively. Like, they're pretty useful uh, in... You use them in Gobi's Gobi, belly. yeah, a lot. And I think they show up a little bit in the Freeze Easy Peak as well. Yeah. What, are they, what are they used I for in Freeze Easy Peak? I think there's... Uh, I know water damages you in Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah, I think there's uh, certain areas that you want to cross using the boots because... They save you from ice damage. I know, like, damage. to get to Mumbo's hut, I feel like, is one of those things. Yeah. And then once you get to Mumbo's hut, you get to turn into a little walrus, right? Yeah, which is adorable. Oh, so cute. And reminds me Ginger. of uh, a level called Walrus Cove in Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, yeah. Oh, going back to Diddy Kong Racing, actually, this is probably going to be separated by some episodes. But yeah. um, Diddy Kong Racing, one thing that I wanted to mention when we were talking about it initially is that that game came out early in Rare's development cycle for the, um, the uh, N64 games that they did put together. Um, and that what is super weird about that is it actually came out just before Banjo did. Yeah, it's, it's his debut game. And also it came out before Conker's Bad Fur Day. And both of them appear for the first time in that game. Yeah, and it's before uh, they really knew what they were doing with Conker. Exactly. Back when the original beta stuff for Conker was literally still um, a cute squirrel going on adventures kind of like a la Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. Uh-oh. I, I hear it. I hate that slowdown right when you... Uh, when you have to take the boots off, where it's like, shimmer down there, yeah. let's kill your movement. Also, if, I you, I had that. if you had to venture a guess, who do you think's egg is this? Um, well, it looks a lot like uh, Eerie's from uh, Click Clock Wood. Oh, you're right. It kind of looks like the pterodactyl eggs that are featured in uh, Banjo-Tooie, which um, there's a pterodactyl character. Her name is befittingly Terry. And a bunch of her eggs get stolen from her, and she starts off as the boss of the uh, dinosaur level. And once you beat her, she's like, I'm just worried about my babies or whatever. And then what you have to do is, as Kazooie, you have to find each of the eggs throughout the and other levels them. and hatch them. And I think one of the dinosaurs can't fly. It's too fat. Aww. And so you have to then play as Banjo and put the dinosaur into your pack because you have this thing where... You can put stuff in your backpack. Yeah. And you have to carry the fat dinosaur back home. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, it's a pretty good mission. 
That game's right. pretty good. Let's see if I can do this. This one sucks. This one's hard. Yeah. It's hard, and I'm going to try to not worry about the notes while I do it. Yeah, you can always spend your time on the notes later. Oh, man, it's a race against time, and it's Benjamin! It goes back to when we were talking about being timed and how I'm not a huge fan of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, bees. Yeah, there we go. All right. That yeah. reminds me, do you know about the trick to not take fall damage? I guess I'll do this while I'm here. Mm-hmm. That's fair. The trick to not take fall damage? In this game? Yeah. Um, is it hitting the rat -a tat rap real quick right before you hit the ground? Uh, no. It worked. Because, like, you, if you fall for too long... You start, like, cartwheeling. Right? Yeah. And at that point, you're, you're hooped. Yeah, so what's the um, trick? The trick is, uh, you do the, um... Uh, what's it called? The ground pound. Okay. Uh, and then you see how he goes, like... Okay, well, <laughs> that was... I was in the middle of something, game. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Um, oh, God. So many frogs, so little time. How he does the, uh, like, uh... The ground pound. And then he, like, kind of moves her a little bit, yep. like that. And he's got his arms up. Mm -hmm. uh, if you move off an edge while mm -hmm. you're... After you've bounced off the ground pound, mm -hmm. you will not take fall damage. Okay. Interesting. So, like... Okay. If you, like, I'll hit, see if hit, I can... hit the ground and you do that little hop, and then you start to fall... They didn't program fall damage into that little hop off. Yeah. Oh. Um, as a little bit of trivia, I actually did that to get off the lighthouse in uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, see, I did miss that. That was very subtle. Yeah. Um, but I will. Uh, see, I don't know all this next level tech. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm all about those advanced techniques. Mm-hmm. This is new tech. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can take all two right. here. You got this. I got faith. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> that was very close to all. That was dangerously close. I mean, the good news is, even if... Yeah, well, were you just doing that to prove me wrong? No, <laughs> I was genuinely... Like, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Bad at video games? You can't even reset it. I hate that. Yes, you can. Oh, shit. The button just doesn't depress again. Yeah. Ah, all right. Or re repress. Ah. Which is... It's, it's just... That's a, such a, like a great quality of life feature. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, this is funny. I would recommend just, like... Ah! Yeah. <laughs> there we are. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. And we've saved up more than enough skulls to get you turned into an alligator slash crocodile. Yeah, but still, complete, for completion's sake. There's a ginger here, too. Oh, yeah, no, we're getting every skull. Yeah, we gotta get all the skulls. But I mean... We are probably all ready to go to take care of that transformation probably before we even need to worry about that. Speaking of skulls, though. Yeah. Also, I believe, I'm not positive, but wasn't Tip Top the turtle also a playable character? He was. Yeah. Although the main character of Diddy Kong Racing, despite the name, if you read the instruction manual, oh, here's a good place to be. Is it uh, the tiger? It is Timber the tiger. I freaking knew it. That's very good. No fall damage. I did not realize that. Yeah, Timber the Tiger is the main character of that, if you read the instruction manual. I gotta be a little alligator for those, don't I? Yeah, for those ones, the, the boots won't survive you long enough to... Well, also, you're too tall to go underneath, I think, aren't you? No, no, if you're wearing the boots, you could get those. It's just that they're too far away from boots for that to be a viable option. Fair. Um, yeah, also, Tip Top makes another appearance in banjo Tooie. I know he's in this one. Yeah, he's, um, he's uh, in this, this he's level, actually. the conductor of the, the turtle band. Well, the, they're the Tip Top band. Specifically, there they're, they're all tip top. <laughs> um, tip top prime, as it were. Yeah. Um, in in uh, Banjo Tooie, he appears in Jolly Roger Lagoon, and so that's the pirate level again. We're going back to that whole pirate thing. Yeah. Um, I think you were gonna say Jolly Roger Bay. Jolly Roger Bay. Why am I thinking? What, what's that? Uh, that's uh, from Super Mario sixty four. You're right. It's the first, first water level. Water world. Yeah. Wow, that was oh. skillful. Benjamin. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Tip Top, um, in the second game, he shows up, and it's like this big area, like this very open area where you collect some doubloons, uh -huh. and doubloons are a currency that you only use while in Jolly Roger Bay. Much like the Jolly casino uh, in Ukulele. Yes, but you're not using them to buy jiggies. Okay. You're using them to exchange for actual goods slash services. Like, you chip a couple of doubloons to, uh, to Captain Blubber... And he gives you the last thing available in his shop, which are the running shoes that you need to get across the lagoon so that you can right. purify it as mumbo to make it breathable water, which is a weird thing. 
Um, breathable water, huh? Yeah, he purifies it to the point that you don't need to worry about suffocating anymore. Oh, that's dope. Very pure. <laughs> but, uh, the opposite of Rusty Bucket Bay, where... You literally you, die in the water. You, yeah. you, you lose air just for swimming in the water. Yep. Um, but the doubloons are sort of along the back of this area, and it's one of the first areas that you go to as just Kazooie. Yeah. And you meet Tip Top there, and Tip Top, it turns out, has an egg. But it won't hatch. It won't hatch. So Tip Top's like, what am I supposed to do? I'm worried about my baby. And then Kazooie's like, and I then this. Kazooie hatches it, and you get to bring the family together for the first time. <laughs> Which is kind of cute. That is kind of cute. Also, it's kind of cool that, like, Tip Top, like, the, the conductor of the Tip Top band, at least, when yes. it talks. And it's like, well, it definitely sounds like it could be a turtle. But then you get this cool thing where it turns out that the, the conductor of this uh, prominent band, apparently, mm -hmm. uh, and also a race car driver, is also a, a caring mother character. You get this very diverse character created yeah. by that little piece of lore. <laughs> That's very sweet. I, I always yeah. liked Tip Top. Yeah. I always played as Conker in uh, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Mm, I always I think played he has as the top speed. I think so. Like um, so that was that was what I'm all about. I played as oh god, I can't remember the character's name now. The Badger. Um. Oh. Um. Bumper. Bumper. Yes, I loved Bumper. I don't know why. I just there was something about the fact that he was a badger and he was kind of sassy. I was like, this guy works for me. Yeah. Uh, he's good. Lucas always played as Drumstick. Drumstick, unlockable though. Yeah, hard to get. And you gotta squish the frog with the uh, uh, with the afro or the mohawk after you've beaten Whizpig. Exactly, and that's like beaten Whizpig for the first time yeah. of like a potential unlockable like nine bouts with Whizpig. Yes. Yeah, it's wild. Like that, the the story of that game, like the actual campaign, goes on way longer than you think it was. Yeah. it would have. And then like you, like you, because you got the boss battles and the silver coin challenges. Mm. And then the, the TT's time challenges and everything. Yep. Um, I love the silver point challenges. They're so good. Yeah, they're tough, too. They can be. It's the coming in first that's the hard part. Yeah. Like, getting the coins? Oh, well. No beef. Screw the pooch on that one. Uh, you may want to gold and feather it out of here. I think I got this. All right. Oh, unless Gruntilda this, throws this, you this, back this in the again, drink. Huh? Um, also, there was this, like, very brief run of action figures for Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, there was, um, Diddy got a small plane, and it was like a, a pretty, you know, he had pre-bent arms. There weren't a lot of points yeah. of articulation, but it was like a very well-made figurine. Mm -hmm. And he got a plane, a uh, Whizpig with his rocket. Yes. And Banjo with the cart. And the cart had a little flap on the front. That became part of the shell of the body of the car. Uh -huh. But if you pressed down on the joystick, the flap would open up and it would shoot like a spring-loaded little rocket that was kind of oh, like the rocket. Oh, that's so cool. It was super cool. And I have that banjo figure. Really? But I don't know where it is. Oh. It's in my hometown back in, in the old uh, old country. <laughs> the old country? But um, I have not been able to search for it because I only remembered about it recently. And it's like, like I've had it for so long that it's got like a couple of bite marks on the backpack from one of my cats sort of thing. Yeah. Like, I fucking love that thing and it was super cool and I have no idea where it is. So one of these days, uh, Banjo Gate will be resolved and I'll show up with my Banjo figure again. <laughs> Take two on this. Getting the camera on your side with these sort of path-based ones is like yeah. the hugest benefit you can give yourself. All right, beautiful, beautiful. This is like the easy mode there version. There yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> but you don't have that option, the N64 version, really. Yeah. The camera is controlled with four buttons. <laughs> C buttons. Four discrete C buttons. Oh, yeah, Benjamin! I, I am gonna, I am gonna, I'm gonna, um, what's the button? Uh, hold left trigger and then outward on both joysticks. No, uh, let go of, get out of that. Uh, you can't be yeah, I know. the talent uh, right. There we go. We're panicking now. All right, that's fine. Get out of there. All right. See, they're grimaced, but they're not, uh, chagrined yet. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Also, one thing that Banjo Tooie introduced that I wasn't like a huge fan of were the um, there were three types of health pickup that you could get. There was yeah. a standard health pickup that you would get that would you know give you a pip. Yep. Then there was a timer health pickup. The game where, temporary. Like... No, it would count up. You would pick it up and time uh, would would freeze okay. and it would go bam 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 and it would start over again. And you had to hit A, and it was 
a randomly designated speed. So sometimes it would be like, bam, bam. And it's like, all right, I can yeah. get this. I can get full health from yeah, this. Yeah. And sometimes it would be like rapid fire, which was hard to deal with. And it, sound, it sounds to me like you could lose health off that. Mm -hmm. You can. You genuinely can wind up with less health than you started with. But then there were random health upgrades like oh, that. Oh, jeez. Where you pick it up and it would just like rapid fire across all of your health units and you just had to hit A as close to what you thought might be, you know, actual increase instead of decrease in health and pray yeah. to the gods that be. Pray to Mumbo and his witchcraft. <laughs> just kind of like beg for it. Yep. Hallowing stuff. Now, is this the one where there's a skull up top? Uh, there's some. There's something up top of, in all of them. But it's just yeah, there's of, there's eggs I up think top. It's, it's feathers here, but I think there might be a ginjo as well. Mm. Oh, oh. No, that's the one. Well, Benjamin. I know. Listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh.